Namaste everyone and welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we are going to work on our legs, exercise it as much as possible. Straight away I am going to start with my greatest stretch, 5 repetitions on each side. Now if you do have any kind of tightness in your legs, that is in your glutes, hamstrings, your hips, make sure you do a dedicated at least two to five minutes of dynamic stretching for those joint areas. I have done multiple stretches in my previous videos. You can choose to do any of those to ensure you have a great amount of mobility during today's exercises. Post completing my dynamic stretch, I moved on to my mandatory deep squat wherein I sit as deep as possible in the squat and stay there for a few seconds feeling the stretch making sure my calf muscles, my hips and everything is mobile enough for our exercises. Now straight away I am going to start with the working set, the first working exercise, sumo deadlift. Now sumo deadlift is something which even I don't do it very often, it is first time here for me too. So it is similar to deadlift but here you take a wider stance wherein when you are at the lowest point you look like you're squatting at a wide stance. Make sure you place your feet as wide as possible before lifting the weight off the ground. Now for the first set, we'll do 20 repetitions to get a lot of blood flowing into our leg muscles, post which we will move on to 8 and 8 repetitions with a little bit of progressive overloading. You may go ahead and use straps and gloves like I did to ensure your grip strength doesn't affect your number of repetitions. Sumo should be slightly easier than conventional deadlift because of the amount of distance the bar has to travel is slightly lesser. But that said, it's an amazing exercise to work our leg muscles, our lower back and our glutes. For my next exercise, I move on to seated hamstring curls. Three sets of these, 20 repetitions, we take a break up to a minute in between. Now one of the things which I want you to try doing is get all those 20 repetitions in one go. So take a weight which is just challenging enough to get those 20 repetitions. By now you must have already realized your strength in terms of the amount of weight and the number of repetitions you can move in a particular set. So make sure you take a challenging weight. We are not going to do the alternative leg why? Because here we are going to make sure our toes face or toes touch each other, both our feet. So my big toes are basically touching each other. We are taking that stance while doing the hamstring curls today. Three sets, 20 repetitions. You can choose to keep the weight same. You need not progressively overload. But if you do feel that the first attempt wherein your weight felt really heavy and you couldn't get even 10 repetitions, drop the weight by almost maybe 30 to 40 percent and try to get the 20 repetitions. Now if you're still failing at around 16 or 17th rep, it's okay. Use the rest pause technique and complete those three to four repetitions like I did in my third set. It is absolutely fine to hit fatigue in your second and third set because the amount of work we are putting our legs through. But make sure you use the rest pause technique there's one more technique which you can use is dropping the weight. If you feel you're failing at around maybe 12 or 14 repetitions, drop the weight by just 10 or 15 percent, maybe one weight drag down or two weight drag down and continue to get those 20 repetitions in. Post completing my hamstring work, I moved on to leg extensions. Now for leg extensions, I have done five sets of these. In the five sets, the first set I've done 20 repetitions, next three sets I've done 10 repetitions each and the last set I have done 15 repetitions plus went on till absolute failure, basically trying to get as many repetitions as possible using the rest pause technique. Now for the first set, take a weight which you think is challenging enough for you to fail. I usually choose the weight wherein I can do leg extensions about 10 of them with one leg i have been practicing alternative leg all this while so i'm pretty well aware of the weight which i can move so I usually start with that weight both the legs so i can get the 20 repetitions pause that load heavy since we are only going to go for 10 repetitions load as heavy as possible but don't 
bounce on the seat make sure you stay seated absolutely firmly and ensure the weight no matter how heavy it is you have absolute control over it while doing the leg extensions the important part is to focus on the quad muscles only as you can see in my last set wherein i have to get 15 repetitions plus go up till failure i use rest pause technique get five repetitions more again hit failure stop breathe recalibrate go for another five repetitions and do it maybe three times maybe four times those plus five plus five plus five and try to get as much blood flowing into your muscles as possible all this while you're firmly seated you're not moving your back away from the backrest getting those repetitions mean a lot because this is where your strength endurance is building up post completing my leg extensions i moved on to squats now for squats unfortunately the squat racks were completely busy today was a busy day in the gym i had to skip one workout because there was no space to do it but yes there are days when we have to go around it so instead of doing it the squats on a squat rack i did it on the deadlift space wherein i chose to go ahead and do it with a preloaded barbell which i have at my disposal i took the highest weight which was available which was about 30 kilos put it on my back and started doing the squats now for the squats i want you to try having a step under your heel very small step so here i'm using a small 2.5 kilo plate now if you if you're using weighted uh, weight lifting shoes those already have a heel about 2 cm 1.5 to 2 cm so this plate method is not necessary but if you do not have or do barefoot training like me go go ahead and use the plate to get those heels high a little bit post completing my squats i was supposed to do walking lunges 40 steps but as i mentioned earlier the gym was quite busy so i chose to do reverse lunges instead again 40 repetitions now the way we achieve 40 repetitions or 40 steps is you have maximum of four sets to achieve this so you can do 10 10 10 10 steps four times with only 30 seconds break in between or like me you can do 20 steps 20 steps with about a minute break in between or you can achieve those 40 steps in one go if you have better endurance than i do the goal is to get 40 repetitions weight try it out i just took a light weight i was already completely fatigued so i just took a 10 kilo preloaded barbell and that's it for today we have completed with all our exercises i did want to do a couple of sets of rdls but unfortunately i couldn't the barbells were busy so and i was already way above one hour so i did not want to extend my workout anymore i moved on to my static stretching now for static stretching it's a simple stretch our hamstrings wherein we place our legs at a height and push ourselves forward our glutes as far behind as possible creating that hamstring stretch make sure you hold your stretches for at least 15 to 20 seconds ensuring that the muscles neutral length is regained after putting it through all those contractions for here i'm using a decline um, crunch bench a crunch a bench on which we do crunches to do my stretches you can use any support to do the same next i moved on to my quad stretches pretty easy one have been always been doing again hold for 15 to 20 seconds if you did like today's workout please do drop a like if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel please do subscribe and any feedback in comments i would definitely respond to those and yes that's it for today we are done with our static stretches also thank you so much for joining me today's workout was a bit on higher intensity but we are going to keep doing that to build on more strength i'll see you in the next video thank you so much have a good day